We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I love you. Now, back to our show. Season two. I don't got shit, dude. No, I got some sh- I got some heat. Do you? Heat. Well, we can do some vacation shit, you know? Oh, man. Some vacation shit, because, I mean... I hope I can still remember. You know? I hope I can still remember. I remember like it was yesterday. I remember. Remember that? Used to play shoot 'em up. I don't got shit. You got an Xbox or a PlayStation? Oh, PlayStation. PlayStation 4? Mm-hmm. I don't even play it. I've been playing that Spider-Man game religiously. I heard it's good. It's amazing. But I'm glad I saved my fucking little $25 gift card because I'm going to go get that new Black Ops. Dude, get Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to get the Black Ops. Red Dead Redemption is like GTA. I seen some shit the other day. But in the Old West. Yeah. I did see that one too. I don't know. It's pretty dope. My feel's going to get online, so I'm going to get online too. Like I haven't and, done I haven't done the online thing. So like in, in GTA, you know, you're out there and you lose your car, you could set on fire, you jump out, you live. You go and steal another car. Well in that game you're in the fucking desert, you literally have to walk back to civilization because your horse is dead. Fuck that. That's gonna be a game, dude. Like it's gonna be fun. Is this recording? Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Welcome to season two, motherfuckers. <laughs> order up, order up, order. You were going out of town the next day, right? Yeah, we went to uh, Disneyland. How was that? It was tight, dude. Um, the Halloween decor. Mm-hmm. It's an experience. I, I mean, love the, seeing the, the amount of people is crazy. Yeah, I'm bad. But um, <clears throat> it was it was a blast, man. I took the kids, uh, my nephew, my niece, and my daughter. Yeah, for her birthday because her birthday is the 25th. So I'm like, I'll take you to Disneyland for your birthday. Nice. It worked out. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you get your doll whip? Dude, no. So that little <sighs> trick you tried to have me do is a fucking pickup station for your with an app now. What? Well, I mean, it has been like a year and a half, two years since I've been there. So, I mean, shit gets updated. I was just more upset that it didn't work. Like, I so in other words, one. you didn't wait in line. No, no. Dude, you didn't was, want to wait in line. It was too packed. It was too, <clears> way too packed. So fucking worth it. Bro, so fucking worth it. I think I've I think, never been uh, there that packed. I've been to Disneyland a lot. Man. That's a humble well, that's, that's horrible. Well, um, I mean, at least I know. Now I'm going to be like, you know what? If I pass by there and I see that line is short, I'm going to be like, hey, it's Dole Whip time. Let's just do it. Jump on in. Motherfucking Dole Whip. That shit was so good. Matter of fact, let me check this shit out. Like, we only rode the ride, like, seven or eight rides the whole time. I don't even have that many left, dude, because... I was supposed to bring them last week. We started grabbing them shits at the house. So check these out. These are st- directly, check these out. They're from the Dole Plantation. They're fucking pineapple gummy. gummy what? So much. You yeah, already know what time it is with gummies. We've been grubbing on the damn uh, Black your, Forest Put gummies. your hand out right there. Like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll do this one. <laughs> Five second roll. Uh, yeah. Really, pineapple? Pineapple. They're bomb. They're directly from the fucking Dole. Dole Plantation. That shit was fucking awesome. Oh, man. And I had a Dole Whip straight from the source, buddy. Mm. 
I didn't think you could beat the Disneyland version. I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. I was so wrong. That's funny. These are bomb, bro. I'm gonna take a picture. Bomb, bomb. Take a picture for them. For the motherfucking website. Or for the, what do you call it? Something. <laughs> the Instagram. But yeah, but this ain't, this ain't, this ain't uh, something new. This was just a quick snack. This was the intro to fucking something new. Show me what you got. Did you grab anything good there at Disneyland? What'd you eat there? Um, we went to Shakey's. Shakey's? You what? Oh, you mean like off the fucking, I'm not, I'm talking about it at Disneyland. You didn't grab nothing on um, No, man. You know, we took sandwiches and shit. Like, mm. there was a grip of us. So, like, mm-hmm. we weren't trying to do it all big every single meal, you know? I got you. But I think those are the most fun adventures. Because you get to spend more time at the park. Like, the only time we left was to eat dinner. And then we went back. I had to take the kids home like at 10. They were done? They were done. They were done. I, I literally carried my daughter for an hour in yeah. my arms. Like, I, <laughs> you didn't want to rent one of them shits? Well, because we were leaving the park. Oh. But it literally took us an hour from the moment we left to watch the fireworks. Mm. And it was dope because they had that little Halloween show. Yeah, that shit's fun. And um, They do like where they like, what do you call it? Like the... On the, it's the projectors, small world. yeah, the projectors fucking project onto the castle and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, that's just sick. We were at it's a small world, and they had it projecting on that. <laughs> Why are you grooving? Right I'm there? doing the gummy bear dance, bro. This shit is good. <laughs> I fuck with gummy bears, bro. Heavy. Nah, that's just like a like a staple. It's like in offices where you come in in the morning and there's coffee and donuts and shit. And here there has to be biotin and fucking. <laughs> The fucking organic fucking, what is it, the Black Forest? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. But it was fun, though, because. Check out this dope-ass sticker I got for the Guzzler. The Guzzler. Oh, from the thing. (laughs) The Guzzler. If you don't make that fucking sound effect. That's kind of why I think I kind of set it up for that right there. You know? I'm going to make one. But we got these at the swap meet over there. Dude, there's a fucking, (laughs) there's a big-ass swap meet in fucking, in, uh. In Honolulu, bro. It's a trip, dude. And like we went there like the first day, right? The very first day we got to when we got to Hawaii, it was Friday. We flew in. We were there by like two o'clock. One of the ladies that was that rode with us, she's like my uh mother in law's best friend. They lost her bag. <laughs> her name is her name is uh, Patricia Johnston. And her fucking bag got switched with a fucking uh what was her name? Letitia Johnson. Letitia Johnson. So, like, Letitia got sent, you know, well, her bags got sent to a different island. But obviously, they didn't get picked up. Like, somebody like they, You ever, like, <laughs> gone to the airport, and when you get your bag, and there's always, like, a couple bags left there, they're just going in circles and circles and yeah, circles, and yeah. nobody's grabbing them? That's because they don't belong to nobody that's from that city right there. They're from somewhere else, and they got sent there by accident. They got to get rerouted. So, they, like, there's always somebody there that grabs them. So there so has right. to be a flight going to that so, city that they're at, right? Yeah. So right away, so they, they throw you know, that luggage bring on them there. back. You know, and we had our. They went and made the phone call already. They're like, "Yes, it's here. It's in a different island. It'll be at your hotel by like five a.m." And sure, the fuck enough, bro. Five a.m. They knocked at the fucking front door, and they fucking dropped off the bag and shit. It was dope. That's pretty dope, though. To your door service. To the to the to the yeah to the Marriott where we were staying at and shit. Oh, dude, that fucking. That resort was sick, bro. I don't know if you saw pictures, but I saw some pictures. I was a little jelly. Were you watching the shit on the Snapchat? Oh yeah, right, super salty. Like motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> no, I was, you know, you happy your friends have good times. I was times. just fucking with you. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was, it was dope, bro. It was dope as fuck. It was dope. That's a bucket list. Treat. But I'm very sad you didn't get a fucking doll with, man. I'm telling you, darling. It's like it's one of those things. No, I mean, I wanted one. I pulled up. There were members of my family eating them. Fuckers are gonna ask me if I wanted a, one. Did you at least try it? No. <laughs> I'm not the fourth or fifth person to take a scoop or lick off the the cone. No, I would have done. I would have been like, well, let me just try it at least. Fuck it. <laughs> I heard it's good. <laughs> no, okay, bro. Okay, Kaz was talking about this shit way too much. I should have tried it. <laughs> no, bro. Ice creams aren't. You don't share ice creams. Like on a cone or anything like that. No, but there is there is other spoons available. I know? get you it. Could have grabbed one and just been. But like, if someone's eating it with not a spoon, 
What do you mean not with a spoon? Like it's either a spoon, a spoon or a straw. Right, right, right. Are you talking about if they start licking it and shit when you go to the other side where they didn't lick it? I'm not there to fucking analyze the areas that they fucking licked. You know what I'm saying? So You're just trying to make it difficult. You're just trying to be difficult. It's no, cool, bro. It's cool, dude. You not trying to be you difficult. You didn't get to try it, dude. I mean, <laughs> so I'm good. it wasn't a failed trip because of that, though. It wasn't, but you failed at but the, yeah, the fucking failed at getting the, that. The, the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip experience, the Dole. bro. I, tr- I tried to sell it to you. It just there were so time. many people there. Next time, buddy. Next there were just time. so many people. Like we're it gonna go, even... we're gonna go back. Like probably like hopefully next year. Go next, uh, we're gonna go to uh, Universal Studios in in February. Yeah, yeah. I think Universal and fucking uh, Halloween time would probably be sick as fuck. They do uh, don't they do like Walking Dead shit? Yeah, like, where they have like yeah. hordes of fucking zombies and shit coming after you, dude. They got Hogwarts fuck over there, right? That. Yeah, yeah. That's where the Hogwarts is at. I gotta go fucking peep that shit. See, it's 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 different at the one in Orlando. It's split over there. Like the Hogwarts is at one, and where they do the fucking uh, the the Walking Dead shit is at the other one. Okay. So it's split into two parks over there. You know, kind of like how Disneyland is split into four over there, and over here it's just two. You know. Oh, well, isn't they're gonna build like a whole another Star Wars park here, right? That's just an addition to like the the Magic Kingdoms and shit like that, and the Disneyland. Is that gonna be its own park? No, nah, I don't think so. It's like a thirty three percent increase. You can't just make that its own park, but that's still a big fucking increase. Or can you? The Toonland small as 33%. fuck. Thirty three percent. Toonland small as fuck. Yeah, but Toonland is not like you got to pay a separate admission for no, it. It's, but it's I mean, if they would have elaborated on that shit, if they would have put Toontown like a Pixar shit now, yeah. like that shit's dated Toontown. It's definitely dated. Dated. Like, a lot of those kids Disneyland, don't know what the Disneyland fuck those itself things is, are. is beyond dated. No, for sure. You know what I mean? For but sure. It, but it's it's that nostalgia of it that keeps people. You know, I think it's, you know, they give they give you just the enough additions. update. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that shit. The Guardians like, thing. The, I want to check out. The whole shit with that is, like, they're going to start serving at the bars inside right. Star Wars. So you can start getting drunk and going to Disney. That's a whole new experience Be-wee. for everybody. For everybody. I think I'm going to mushroom over there. This don't, trip on shrooms. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's just too much. I mean, you're going to wind up ruining your experience. No, somebody else's. Think, well, I'm not going to go with my kid. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I, I know what you're going to do. I'm saying, like, if you fucking flip out and fucking dizzy, that's not where you want to lose it, bro. <laughs> I'll just find a homegirl. It's a small world <laughs> after all. Like, out of nowhere and shit. Dude, how dope would Buzz Lightyear's little fucking shoot em game be? I told you, dude. Beep, beep, I, fuck, beep, I beep. fucking wreck shop at that game, dude. dude. Every time we usually go, like, it's usually like me, my lady, and my mother in law. My mother in law will ride with her, but like, we're like still keeping fucking. I'm over here using both sides and shit. <laughs> oh, damn. You're just like. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing against myself, dude. Left hand beat right hand this time. Oh, you know what I mean? There's no <laughs> losers in that game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But yeah, man. What was? Did you get on uh, Splash Mountain? Did you get on Splash Mountain? Um, was it open? I don't think we did, but we didn't have enough time. Really? Um, Matterhorn was closed. It's always fucking closed. That one and the motherfucking what is it called the little ra- the runaway rail railroad train the oh we got on that one that one's that always one's closed good. too, and then right next to that is where all the Star Wars shit is going up right there it was that all like blocked off and shit yeah, yeah. That's I'm ex- I'm excited for the Star Wars shit oh pff, it's gonna be sick that's gonna dude. be a trip for itself like it's the gonna Star- be like Star Wars shit it's gonna be record setting shit yeah it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy cray cray. I got a fucking burp here somewhere. What did you not do in Hawaii uh, that you wanted to do? I didn't get to go to the nine. The, <laughs> what? I can't want to say the nine eleven shit. I didn't get to go see Pearl Harbor. That was the one thing I didn't get to see. I didn't get to see Pearl Harbor. Well, there was other things I didn't get to see, but out of everything that I probably wanted to do that I didn't get to do was see Pearl Harbor. Yeah, that would have been something to see. I've been to, uh, but I heard it. I heard they're like it's, they're doing shit to it. Like I don't know, certain sections of it are closed off because it's like deteriorating and shit yeah like eventually i heard they're gonna be it's gonna close off like the 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 ss arizona thing it's kind of like fucking like i don't know like it's gonna supposed to fall apart or something like that and yeah i don't know they're gonna try to do something to fix it but i just they're gonna close that shit down but what i did do which was fucking dope as fuck was the day we went on atvs through the fucking what was it called Keola ranch or something like that it was like like Hollywood's back lot for Hawaii, dude. Like all kinds of movies have been filmed there and shit. Yeah. The Jurassic Park. 
Jurassic World, King Kong, fucking Godzilla, like a bunch of those movies and shit like that. They've all been filmed there. Hawaii what Five. What was that? Um, that thing they used to say, King Kong with the rubber ding dong. You remember that or no? Up your nose with a rubber hose. <laughs> <laughs> He said, like, I don't know, King Kong with a ding dog? What? Rubber ding dong. I remember hearing that in like elementary school. <laughs> Up your nose with rubber hose, dude. No, they uh it was sick, bro. It was like it, you it was like 160 bucks and like How was the weather? It was beautiful. Well, it was it was warm. It was warm, but on the north shore it was beautiful. Like up there to the north and like where this place was at. This ranch place. <coughs> it was um it was it was like really cloudy and it was just nice, dude. It was beautiful. You there. get trees over there, huh? You get trees over there, <sighs> dude. My nephew, bro, came through. My nephew got plugged, dude. He got he has a plug over there, yeah, dude. Yeah. So yeah, so he came through like a motherfucker. Some uh, outdoor, or do you get some draw? No, we got draw. We right. got some we got some medical type shit. It was good. They have medical Ku- over there, right? Kualoa Ranch was the name of the fucking. They spot. got they got medical marijuana out there. Yeah, oh, it's good. Shot. So imagine yeah, when man. it becomes like recreational in Hawaii, how fucking crazy the fucking tourism is going to be. Oh, dude, yeah, it's probably going to be a lot of accidents, man. That fucking freeway is scary. That freeway, there's only like two main freeways, dude. Oh, fuck it. it, it the, the traffic over there is worse than LA. Oh, word. It was worse than LA. It was less crazy drivers. It was just slow as fuck. It was just slow. Like, like where we went to go to this place, dude, we had to be there by like 7 30. They were like, yeah, you're going to need to take two hours to get here. But it said it was only like 40 some miles. That's like here to fucking. Uh, like like Picacho, right? How long does that take? What, like 30, 45 minutes? So they don't have other transit systems like a light rail? No, no. It's just all fucking highways. And like, there's like three main highways. There's like H1, H2, and H3. And then smaller ones that branch off that. But if you're on H1, you're super fucked when you start getting into like Honolulu area and Waikiki and shit like that. Dude, it's fucking, it's backed up like a motherfucker. Because that's the, it's so where you spent like a week out there. It's where all the tourist shit is at. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, so you wouldn't recommend saying less than a week. Nothing less than a week. Nah, yeah, you need that. There was a lot of things we didn't get to do, but that shit was fun, dude. Anybody that goes there it was dope. It was like, it was like three excursions for like the price of one and shit, dude. Like the ATV shit was one part. And that was like like an hour, dude, of mobbing around on a thing. They took us to this spot. They took pictures of you with this dope ass seti you know what this lady did for she fucking had she had a dinosaur thing that she put on her hand like this right and so she's like let me get one of your phones like does somebody have a phone with slow-mo on it i was like i handed her the fucking phone i was like hey take my shit put it on slow-mo and then she fucking she did this shit dude i gotta show it to you bro like let me see see if i can find it (laughs) anyway so what she did bro she she fucking put the (laughs) stupid it is dude ready you ready, ready, ready? Check this shit out. Oh, shit. And my nephew fucking, he fell down on purpose and shit right there. Like, it looks like it's about to eat his ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? My big ass in the back off trying to run and shit, dude. But, That's dope, dude. So she did that, dude. That's she pretty fuck, dope. She busted that shit out and she fucking, you know, did that. She took pictures of us and everything, dude. Like, my swag that I fucking tipped her down, dude. Like, fucking, she was super nice. And then the dude that, like, helped everybody on the ATV, she hooked him up with a tip and shit like that. Dude, my swag, she's, she's fucking sweet as fuck like that. But before that, we went on a catamaran fucking... Uh, catamaran. That's catamaran, dude. Word. Yeah, it's a fucking boat, dude. It's a nice little like a big little sailboat for a bunch of people you know what i'm saying just to like sightsee i don't know about that shit. life i don't know about that sail life oh, dude you gotta get there bro <clears throat> i mean i've been on boats before boats you, and hoes you gotta get there right there bro this is way better than the fucking catalina wine mixer <laughs> you know what i'm saying this shit is dope and like they took they got you on this smaller little canoe fucking boat that takes you to this other section and then it takes you into the fucking where the ocean's at right and then that's where the big boat's at so like we had to take a little boat to get to the bigger boat. It was kind of crazy. And so then you like had a, like a plank that connected you guys. Yeah, right there. And you yeah, and you just get off onto the beach, walk over there, get on this little wood thing, get on the big one, and then they took us out, and like they show you like places where you see turtles, and we saw some like swimming around and shit like that. And then they also show you like. Like, as you're coming in, they're like, this is a good spot for you to take pictures of, like, the entire island. Like, you remember the, you seen the Jurassic World, like, the new one, right? Remember, like, where the fucking island's on fire and the fucking poor dinosaur stayed behind and shit like that? Like, that whole spot where it's like, that's where we were at. We're literally on that part right there. So, jokingly, at the end of that movie, I said, the next one's Jeff Goldblum's going to save the earth from a meteor. 
There you go. <laughs> you I, hope so. I hope so. I but um, that's dope, dude. Like I, I saw some of those pictures. Well, you sent me a picture from your balcony, and I don't think you did any Photoshop editing to that picture. None. And it was just like a, like a computer <clears throat> wallpaper. Yeah, it was beautiful. You know? It was dope. And then what was cool about the the resort had like like four pools, like eight jacuzzis. Had a 24 hour gym that had like a f- fucking sauna and a fucking uh, steam room. Did you get it in? Uh, too, yeah. No, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't lift no weights if that's what you ask. asking. What happened? I didn't lift no weights if oh, that's what okay, you're asking. Okay, okay. What we did do is like every night, like at the end of the night, bro, we were always, we would either go out to the to the beach right there and we'd go like smoke out right there because they had its own private beach and the beach was open 24 hours that's and there's, there's people down there like swimming at night and shit dude they didn't even fuck with us like we were just sitting there people probably thought we were just smoking a cigar but you know we were smoking blunts and shit like that <laughs> yeah. and, and then we went from you know we put that out and then we went to the jacuzzis and shit you know just before they closed at like 11 because it was dope there was two sections one of them closed at 10 the other ones closed at 11 and shit so we chill in the ones till 10 and then they're like oh you know you guys got to get out of this one so we matched to the one that's by that's that closes at 11 and that one's right next to the gym so when we got out of there like dude because we'd have drinks with us down there by the pool and by the jacuzzi and shit like that and then afterwards let it rip afterwards we would go into that steam room fucking sweat that shit out drink a there was like a little machine there that had fucking like purified water and shit it was cold as fuck dude i was like ah bro it was it was it was beautiful every night ended it right there drank a shitload of water go back to the room shower out you know what i mean do it over again the next day it was fun bro it was a good ass time you got to get out there yeah i'm gonna check it out man i think i'll have to meet the one before i go to hawaii fuck that dude go by yourself go dolo go by yourself or go with some friends and shit and have a good ass time that's what's up this shit is dope dude Shit is dope as fuck. And Waikiki, that shit is crazy, dude. Like, that beach is just a famous looking beach and shit. You see it and you're just like, yup. I've seen the movies that's got this shit in it. Yup. I've seen that shit. Is it, it cool. is it weird just being surrounded by water? Nah. Is it just like being nah. like, like San Diego? I'm, kind a, of? I'm a water sign, bro. I love water. Whatever that means, huh? Because, <laughs> like, you don't see nothing, right? Like, no mountains at all, right? Other than just on the, the island. mountains on the island, yeah. But yeah. then it's just miles of water. It's a trip, dude. Like, it's a five-hour flight over fucking nothing but water and shit. It's scary shit. You watching some shit over there, bro? No, I'm not. I hear, I hear some fucking voices and shit. It's in your head. Nah. You're watching videos and shit. I am you're, not you're watching all, videos. You're all bored and shit. No, hell no. Yeah, fuck you know your, how happy fuck I am. Fuck your man. Hawaiian trip, dude. <laughs> you know how happy I'm back to be recording, bro? Like, Yeah. I was like, do I still got it? <laughs> Can I recapture the magic? No. <laughs> nah, yeah, dude, it was fucking fun. That was fun as fuck. Is it um, something you have to save a couple months for, or is it something that you should save for like a couple years? <sighs> I, mean, it was, it, I mean, dude, like with us, it worked out because we got a timeshare. You know what I'm saying? Like timeshares are dope. Like if you get in on them and you can get on them when they're when they're opening and you get like a good deal on them shits and once you pay them off that's when they really start to fucking like pan out you know what i'm saying and we got we got one like back when we first got married we've been married fucking 11 years and shit so like that shit done been paid off you know what i mean and we just like um use it for different spots when we went to we go to dc we went to dc with that motherfucker we've gone to la a bunch of times with it so you can like trade off your you can trade it, yeah. location you, you can trade with other different fucking timeshares and shit dude it's cool you got like little fees that you have to pay but it's cheaper than fucking paying five nights at the fucking four seasons and shit you know what's what that saying? hit for seven nights at the four seasons probably 400 a night at least god damn and there's so, no discounts huh no, in fuck, hawaii no, fuck no there's know. no discounts no. huh but if anybody, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm telling any of our listeners. So when you get like if, a three star for like what, a buck 25? A buck 50? I don't even know, dude. I didn't even look. Like I, I, we knew where we wanted to stay. We put in for that motherfucker and we got approved for it. I wonder if they have Airbnb over there. Because in do. New York they don't. They do. Yeah. They have some Airbnb. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you're still paying a good price a night, at least 200. The part that kind of sucked for us was, it didn't suck, but it was crazy. It was There was 13 of us. And this room only comfortably sleeps eight. Who like so, sardines. So we, we took extra. We took blow up fucking mattresses and shit with us, like two of them. And then the hotel provided us with like a cot. And like my sister's boyfriend got too hot in a cot. Shit. And, and fucking there was literally like all three rooms. I'm talking living rooms and the two bedrooms as like four people in each one. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a grip of us. 
So <laughs> like getting ready to leave, 13 people taking showers and using the ra- the bathroom and fucking getting ready, dude. Like it takes time, you know? Right, I mean? right. So it, it was crazy, but I'm, I, I will say this, like anybody that's fucking thinking about going to staying at Oahu, dude, look at this fucking resort. It's called the Marriott Koalina. That's where we stayed, dude. That shit was fucking beautiful, bro. Like at all the places we've taken our timeshare, that was the most beautiful fucking place we've ever been. It was dope. It was super sick, dude. Like it was just, it was just paradise, dude. Like for reals, it was literally fucking paradise. So. You gotta check it out. That's right. Look that shit up. Colina. Stay out there. And if you got the fucking bankroll to do it, there's a fucking Disney fucking resort. Two resorts down from where we were at. Is this Disney fucking resort? It looked like fucking Mulan. Like from outside, dude. Like it looked like some fucking dope shit. Do you know how like Mulan was? What's that hit for a night? I have no idea, but I know what's up there, dude. It's up there. I know that. Let me see this real quick. Mulan. Mulan Resort. It's not called the Mulan Resort. I don't know what it's called. The Disney something in Oahu. Guzzler. You know what? Aulani. I'm kind of thirsty. Yeah, that's it. That begins. You look mercy. at that shit right there. I'm gonna go get the. I'm gonna get things. The, them things out of the fucking freezer. Yeah, damn. Four sixty eight a night. It's actually not bad. Five twenty nine a night. That's not bad. <laughs> a few moments later. Uh, da, 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 something new. Show me what you brought. I'm gonna do some shit. You know what I mean? All that shit. But okay. So when I went to uh, when I went to New York, I came back with them fucking gummy bears that look like booties, right, or titties. What were they called? I can't remember. They're like peach booty ones, right? <laughs> I don't know if they were booties. I don't think they were booty. Were they booty? <laughs> I thought they were titties. <laughs> anyway, check Give this shit titties. out. Check this shit out right here. These are these are made in Hawaii, okay? And they're chocolate covered macadamias, but they're called donkey balls. Donkey balls. Donkey balls, okay? And it's classic chocolate. There was a different flavor. There was salty. They were called salty balls. That was pretty funny. And then there's different ones that you can actually order this from their fucking website and shit. And they'll ship them to you? Yeah, it's pretty dope. It's the uh, original, it's called donkeyballstore.com. Okay? Go to donkeyballstore.com and you'll see the original donkey balls that I'm talking about right now. It's a fucking donkey, but you know, they're chocolate covered macadamias. They're pretty fucking dope. And uh, yeah, it comes with six of them. So here you go, buddy. Put your hand down. Maybe three of them shits. Tell me what you think about them shit. Don't get bald. And then on the way here, what the fuck was this? Uh, I went by Burger King real quick, and they had that uh, very scary berry <laughs> fucking frozen drink or whatever it is. You know, it's like an icy, basically. For people that don't know what an icy is, I guess they call them uh, frosty freeze back in the East Coast or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. Pretty good. I like the chocolate. It's pretty good, right? Mm. <laughs> mm. So through the Airbnb, you're doing like seven forty-seven for like a studio for a week. Yeah, that's doable, bro. What's expensive? The fucking airfare. Yep. Well, they run you like five hundred a person. Nah, bro. It was, it was like seven, seven something for a round trip. But you can, if you can get them early, dude, if you can go like on an off season, you can get them as low as like six. I've seen. And I'm sure you could probably get them cheaper somewhere else too, but it's just, you know, it's just one of those things, bro. And it's like one of those places where they know people want to come here no matter what. It's fucking like, it's almost like how Apple never really puts their shit on sale. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like kind of those, that type it's of situation. It's a trip that like, I've seen this ad running for a Samsung. Yeah. Trade your phone in up to six hundred dollars worth of credit towards a new note. They gotta do. They That's gotta crazy. Do, they gotta do what they gotta do, huh? They give let you. me find out. They're doing that for um, iPhones. <laughs> I'll put nah. my seven plus in like Dude. a motherfucker. iPhone or Verizon, you won't catch them doing that shit. I think even Verizon, Verizon stopped doing like they were used to give you something for free. I think right now what they're doing is Apple Music. They're giving you like six months free, I think, or something like that. But, like, if you go to, like, fucking T-Mobile, they're like, oh, we'll give you Hulu, we'll give you fucking Netflix, blah, 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 this and that. And Verizon's just like, eh, we'll give you a fucking network that works, bitch. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I think that's how, that's how Apple's stance is, dude. They're like, nah, fuck that. I ain't trying to give you no fucking $600 credit and shit. Fuck that. If you want Apple, fucking buy Apple. If you cash don't want it, if you don't want it, go buy that fucking Apple's Samsung. Apple's like, cash us out, player. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just us, though. We, we bias as fuck because this is Apple gang over here. You know what I mean? And like, it's just. It's funny how we both have iPhones shit, and we both have shit, MacBooks. It's the shit that works for us, bro. It works for what we do. You know what I'm saying? Other people. They got Windows. They got fucking Samsungs. And like a lot of my homies that are rappers, they all got Samsungs. You know why? Because they can get beats from somebody that sends it to them in an email and then they can download them directly to their phone. But you know what else you could download? Viruses. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to have fucking, you got to have Norton and shit, antivirus on your fucking Samsung and shit, dude. Apple, you don't even deal with that shit. If you watch a lot of pornography like I do. Yeah, you just give me, a, just be giving your fucking Samsung AIDS like yeah, a motherfucker. Yeah, forget shit, about just injecting that. it frost wire days. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. I, don't know. I survived. I survived the fucking the days of old, the days of LimeWire. Cause uh <laughs> Frost Wire, Pirate Bay, all that shit. Dude, you got me sold on Hawaii, man. I think everybody needs to go to Hawaii. Hawaii is the United States, like, piece of paradise, bro, for real. I mean, dude, you know, I've been to St. Thomas and shit. I've been to the Virgin Islands. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But, but Hawaii's just dope. There's just something about it. The people there are just chill. Everything's chill, dude. Like, you know, I, everywhere I went, bro, and I, I we, we had to rent two fucking SUVs, okay? We were rolling deep in some fucking my late. We got a, ta- uh, a Suburban and a fucking, uh, what's the other one? A Yukon, and I was like, "Oh, I want that fucking Yukon." But I was like, "Nah, dude, my lady's birthday." Hey, that and suburban's shit. crazy, isn't it? The suburban's fucking sick, bro. We took I one to California. Blown, I was blown the fuck away by everything it does. Yeah. Like the the shit where you we turn on the little the the lane the lane mover thing where it keeps you in the lane, and if you start to swerve, it like uh, kind of yeah, corrects yeah. you just a little bit. Nothing yeah. too fancy, nothing too fucking crazy. And then, like, when you're backing up and you're fucking about to hit something and it fucking makes the, the seat vibrate and shit, it's all boom, boom, boom. Lets you know and shit, dude. Them shits were dope, bro. Me and my nephew, we were fucking backing into parking spots, like, everywhere we went and shit, dude. We were fucking riding them shits. But we got, like, a really good deal through Costco, bro. Like, I'm going to tell everybody, all our listeners right now, if you're going to go somewhere and you got a, a, a membership at Costco, rent your shit through Costco. And, like, most of the time, I think it's going to be through... Uh, National? Yeah, I want to say national, I think is what it was. And it was, dude, it was dope. It was like off-site from, it was one of the ones that was off-site from the, the airport in Honolulu. Like every other fucking one was there at the at the airport. But we had to take like this little van and, you know, go somewhere else. But it was dope, dude. Yeah, they gave us a bourbon and a fucking Yukon, dude. So I gave a Yukon to my lady because that shit was beautiful, bro. Like it, inside, it just had a little bit more nice Interior than the fucking suburban and shit, but they were literally the you same. Imagine car. the suburban ESV or the uh, Cadillac ESVs, the new ones. Nah, probably, the suburban Cadillacs, probably sick as fuck, dude. But yeah, man. Since that was thirteen of us, we had to get two of them motherfuckers, right? So like going through traffic, dude. That shit was crazy, dude. And like <laughs> the fucking uh, the, the 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 we got, the suburban was gray, and then the which call it was white. And like there was one morning. <laughs> It was one morning where I was driving, right? And, like, we're going and we're going down the freeway and I don't see my fucking lady behind me anymore. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's, I, so I call her and I'm like, hey, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm following you. You're going to get gas right now, right? And I'm like, <laughs> no. I'm like, I'm on the fucking freeway still. Oh my God. And she's like, are you serious? She's like, I followed a fucking wrong car. She said she followed me off a fucking ramp. To, like, this fucking gas station and shit, dude. Like, I noticed, like, kind of right away. So, it wasn't, she wasn't too far behind and shit. But she was fucking driving, and yeah, she started following the wrong fucking gray bourbon. And somewhere It'll down the road. Yeah, It'll happen. dude, but it was funny as fuck when it did happen, though. But, yeah, dude, like, but there was a lot of, there's a lot of situations where, like, you know, we get into a spot where, you know, someone's going to let us in, flag you in and shit like that. Dude, everybody over there was nice as fuck. That's dope. Like the Hawaiian drivers, dude. Like shout out to them because they was they were nothing but fucking sweet as hell. They were like, "Oh, go ahead, bro. I'm hello." Doing the fucking doing the shaka shit, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere we went, he was like, "Hey, I've been doing that shit for like two weeks now since I've been back. I, I forget where the fuck I'm at. I'm like, what's hey, you, hey, you want to go get some tacos, Simon? 
<laughs> Simone Shaka. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, bro. Yeah, brother. Let's go. Let's go get tacos. <laughs> but fucking speaking of tacos, bro, the food speaking over there. Speaking of tacos. The food over there, dude, dude. Fire. Fuck, bro. Yeah, it was good shit. It was good shit, man. There was this, uh, I don't know if you've seen, I took a picture of this one place. It was like called like L&M or some shit or M&H. It was like two letters. But it's like a chain. It's like a picture like a panda, right? But it's like nothing but Hawaiian food and shit. And you can get this shit there that's famous called the Loco Moco. You heard of that? I saw your uh, snaps. Dude, fucking it's, dude, it's just a carb fucking blowout, bro. It's, it's two scoops of rice, two hamburger patties, two fucking fried eggs, and gravy on top of all that. So it's just a fucking... It's one of them. Oh, it's one of them old school Salisbury steak fucking banquet meals and shit, dude. It's just it's it's yeah. No, it's fire. This is fire. It's just, but it just reminds me of that shit. It's just mad gluttony, dude. It's just crazy, bro. It's just it's just a total carb fucking protein fucking blowout, right? But yeah, that that shit was good. And then a lot of other shit is like the the grilled shrimp, garlic shrimp, like okay, a lot of scrimp. So we went to that place, like that really famous truck called Giovanni's and shit. Oh, it's a food truck? Yeah, dude. It's like, it's a famous ass truck. Like yeah. you see it on all the fucking travel channel things. It's like all tagged up. Like people go up and they write their name on it and tag their name on it, where they're from and blah, 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 and this and that. Dude, it's just throw, a famous truck. You throw up the 5 I didn't. I didn't, oh, I, I, I didn't on, do it. Man. I didn't do it. I was busy like filming and getting like footage and shit. I should have. I fucked up. Hmm. Very scary berry. I'm with it. I'm with it. Frozen soda. Frozen grape soda, basically, but it's good. I would need a balcony if I was in one of these places. You got to, bro. You got to be able to smoke out, do you think? You know what I'm talking about? But, yeah, I had a little law. Uh, so all the round of vacations are done this year for you? Took a little Wonka with me. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, so even before my, my my nephew came through, he did a little late night fucking reconnaissance, bro. He left fucking our spot to go meet his homies at the. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He met us. His homie met us like when we ate dinner one night and shit. <laughs> my dad would listen to this and be like, "What the fuck?" But obviously, man, I mean, we had to make it covert. So oh, one sure. night, so one night we were down in Waikiki. His homies didn't live too far from there, and we went to this mall. Because eventually that's what we started doing. Because, like, when you have 13 people with you, bro, it's hard to please everybody when it comes to, like, food and fucking everything to do, right? So I kept I kept suggesting, like, the malls because they got food courts. And we went to this place called the Ala Moana Shopping Center and shit or something like that. And it's a famous-ass mall over there. It's, like, three stories. You got everything there, bro. Fucking Gucci, Calvin Klein, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad job. Like Gucci, fucking Burberry, like all the fucking high end shit, and they had a bunch of cool stores that I'd never seen and shit. My my uh, my my sister's boyfriend was all fucking excited about this one. It was called like Uglo or some shit like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard Uglo? of that? Yeah, you heard of that? I have a well, couple been, pieces. Do you them. really? Yeah. They have some shit that fits your ass because let me tell you something. <laughs> hey, bro, when I when I went in there, what you trying to say, hey, bro? They only had up to like extra large in this yeah, store. Yeah, yeah. So you, you rock an extra large? Extra large? Yeah, that's my okay, size. Okay, cool. I'm just making sure because when I walk up, yet. when I walk up in this motherfucker and like my you know my 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 sister boyfriend he he can fit into an extra right, large right, large right. shit. He's a big motherfucker, bro. He's stocky. Yeah, they don't got big dude clothes in there. So like that's what I told the little Chinese dude at the front door when I was leaving. <laughs> I was like, hey, bro, on some real shit, when you see somebody as big as me come up in this motherfucker, you should be like, hey, bro, on some real shit, bro, like, just to let you know, you. there ain't nothing here. Like, if you want to buy some stickers or you want to buy a fucking, a you know, like, a, a pen a or, or a fucking a keychain and shit, bro, go yeah. ahead. They're all right there. But as far as shirt, dog, <laughs> like, don't even attempt it, homie. Like, don't even fucking look at that clothing, bro. <laughs> don't get yourself. And I was sad, bro. There was some dope some shit. Heat, huh? There's some Dude, heat in there. They had, some, the they had some Star Wars shit, some Disney shit, bro. Did they like, have they, Sesame Street? They had all that shit. Yeah. Dude. They yeah, had, they had the Sesame soup, stupid fucking yeah. dope looking shit and i walked out of that shit heated bro i was like hey dude i told him dog i had no fucking i had no filter i was like hey bro like you should like let fat dudes know bro like when they walk in here like let them know like just kill their dream right away bro don't don't let them go in there and get their hopes up and start digging and be like oh, okay maybe there's just not anything above extra large in this one and then i go to the next shirt and 
scrape into the back, you see nothing but extra larges and shit, and you just like eventually you put it together, and then your dreams, <laughs> your dreams are just shattered. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, come yeah, on, man, yeah. you should have let me know this shit. Dreams are shattered. However, at the motherfucking SWAT meet, dude, they they know that motherfucking big ass Samoan motherfuckers need fucking shirts and shit, bro. I got me some shirts five for twenty. Like this is one I'm rocking one like right now. So who do you want with the with the little surfboard fucking truck and it's got the shit on the back? I think they're mostly like. Some of them are, some of them were, um, some of them were screen print. Other ones were fucking, you know, some heat press and shit, but still bro, five for 20, 20 bucks, five fat guy shirt, three X's and shit. I was with it, bro. So I came back with some fucking, that's, it's all I've been rocking too, bro. I'm still, I'm like still stuck on Island time and shit, dude. I didn't even want to put shoes on today. I wanted to come in my chanclas. <laughs> is that all you rocked over there with chanclas? Chanclas, bro. My fucking, my little slides, dude. My little Jordan slides and shit. Because we were going to the beaches almost every day, Did too. Did you go out dude. at all over there? Not like to like a club or no. anything. Nah, nah. We, we did our own shit at the fucking hotel. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of us and shit. Like with like my little sisters and my nephew and his lady. It was always us. Like the younger kids and shit. Like when the older parents were like, you know, my my. My swag, them or my dad and all them, they were all getting ready to go to bed. We'd all fucking go down to the beach, smoke out right there, go to the jacuzzi shit, all that shit. Like every night, dude, it was just, a, you know what I mean? It was like a little tradition every night. It was fun. Yeah. yeah That's fun shit. You got to take advantage of the amenities and shit. Spend way too much to be not using their shit there. Dude, no, but have, I want to see how it's popping over there in Hawaii they, too, uh, though. I bet, it's, I bet it's dope. I bet it's dope. From what I hear, that's the island to go to because that's the one that has the most population. Which one? No, uh, Oahu. Because that's where Waikiki is. That's where Honolulu is. That's where Colleen is, where we were staying and shit. But we went to the North Shore. We went to the fucking, uh, I don't know if you if you could hear me, because it was kind of windy and shit when I was talking on that one. Yeah. But we went to the resort where they filmed Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Oh, yeah. So I was over there, yeah. like Inside and of you. Remember, remember <laughs> like... Uh, Remember when, uh, what's the main dude? What's the main dog, tall dude? Seth Rogen? No, 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 the tall dude. The main oh, dude. Oh, no, I know what you're talking about. That motherfucker. That Remember he mean. walks to the beach and he sees the really big chef dude out there? Yeah. And he's like, how you doing, man? Want a beer? You know, he gives him a beer, right? And then he looks at him and he's like, oh, Sarah Marshall, huh? Like, they're talking. You know what I'm saying? I was right there where they filmed that fucking scene right there, dude. It was dope. And we were just chilling right there and then we went, you know. I thought you were going to say you saw that dude there. I wish, dude. No, no. I didn't see anybody. <laughs> that I didn't see anybody famous. Except only only that famous took it to another level. Only famous person I got to saw that I tell you. I saw fucking DJ Quick. I the saw day that. It was back. dope. Was he yeah. good performing juice on? It was the day of the West Fest. Yeah. You didn't go to that? No. I heard, oh, no. I, I heard it was all right, then. I did too, but I, I, yeah, was, I was gonna fucking get yeah, caught. Yeah, yeah, see gonna walking fight. in the wrong crowd. <laughs> it was bloods and cuz there all day, bro. It was it was it was it was, it was cool, I heard. What I heard. Their dude um the dude that DJed with them and shit, he came and DJed at the event center this weekend. Okay. And so I got to talk to him about that and she was telling me he met like all them bone and fucking DJ quick and all that shit. It was cool. But yeah, man. Yeah, it was a fucking trip, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't wait to go back. It was hotter over there than it was over here, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. It was hot as fuck. It's a tropical it was area. Is that closer to the equator type of shit. Yeah, right, right, it was, right. It was, it was serious. Sun was baking your ass. Mm-hmm. You been to San Pedro? San Pedro? Nah, I've never been to San Pedro. Where's, by Long Beach? Where's that at? It's like right by Long Beach. Maybe. I've been to Long Beach. Is that where all the cruises leave out of? They have this place right there where it's like a market where you get fresh food and shit like... You can get a whole fucking fish. Like Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco and shit? Yeah, yeah. I've never been there. Uh, Do they have shit like that in Hawaii? They do. I just didn't see any. Oh, okay. I just didn't see any. There was this one. Like, I would like to go to a market where they have, like. There was a market that I was looking for. Yeah. Where it was, like, where you can buy the fish and everything like that. You could see it, and then you could take it to the back where they would cook cook it it for you. Like, some fucking Andrew Zimmern type shit. I just didn't. We didn't go to that. Wherever it was, we didn't see it. But the the one that we did go to at that Ala Moana shopping center, whatever the fuck it is, it was dope, dude. It was literally like in this big ass food court. There was probably like 30, 30 places to choose from, right? And it was like a U. And this side of the U was all American shit. Sabaro, Panda Express, fucking Jimmy John's, like a bunch of like American shit. Yeah. But this other side was all local shit. And that's where you could get the local mocos, the fucking, the udon noodles, dude. We tried all kinds of good shit, like soups and fucking 
that's where I think I had a moco loco there or loco moco there, and then some like shrimp. Dude, I had, we had a bunch of shit. That was good. It was a bunch of good shit. That's cool, man. Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, we didn't eat grip, nothing crazy. Bro. It was grip, so I'm not even going to lie, bro. Like, for real. Like, when you go out there, you got to expect to spend, like, 15 to 20 bucks, like, a person, like, oh, yeah, all on day. every meal. You know what you I know, mean? No, I mean, it's kind of getting like that in Tucson, too, though, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. But, I mean, on a vacation, you kind of expect over that. There, you know? yeah, You're going to drop, like, 50 yeah. a meal kind of shit. And you got to go check out, like, the good shit, bro. Like, the, there was a place. See, I want to go into, like, Wolfgang Puck's restaurants and shit like that. Yeah, that would be dumb. You know, um, something that's like a I'll, one of. I want to. Not I, like a chain. I will say, I went to uh, Guy Fieri's fucking burger joint on the strip one day. Yeah. And I was not impressed. Okay. And it was sad because it was like when he had his show, it was the thing that he was bragging about. You know what I'm saying? It was, the it, best was, it, was this, it was this burger, yeah. It was this burger that he really fucking. And we like, we got it and it was fucking. Bleh, it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> It was shit. I was guy, let. Guy. I was let down, guy. You fucked me over. But um, fucking Vinny the guy didn't tell you not to go there. No, Vinny the guy. He didn't say that. I'm trying to find the name of this place where we got these like little donuts. Here it is. It's called Leonard's Bakery, and they have these things called malasadas. You know what a malasada is? Have you ever heard of that? I a girl gave me one of those one time. A malasada. <laughs> was it good? <laughs> Back in my pickup, she gave me a malasada. <laughs> <laughs> you gave her a una buena malasada. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, bro? Tell, <laughs> tell us what it is. It's a fucking, it's a fucking donut. Okay. It's basically like this big ass puffed ass fucking donut, bro. It's just like it's crispy on the outside and the inside. It's all nice and soft and shit. It's like you ever go to like to the Swami Eat or to the uh, the fairgrounds and they have those uh, mini donuts. Yes. You ever get those powdered and shit yeah. like that, right? You know what I'm saying? That's what they are, just bigger. They're called malasalas and shit, dude. Yeah, there's a new new meaning for malasalas now. You want a, you want a real malasala or a hood diner malasala? <laughs> you might not, you might, your life might not be the same after one of those. <laughs> you won't try to shit some little secret menu, bitch. Mm. I'm going to take a... I'm gonna take a donkey ball break right here. Yeah. Yeah. You got him? Did you finish yours? I'll fucking finish those Are fast. You serious? Super fast. I also brought. <laughs> I brought this all the way from over there, thinking it was something you would only get over there. I see these shit at fries the other day. What are these? Oh, high chew. Yeah. Well, damn, dog, you really went all out right now. I'm I, impressed because I got the munchies like a motherfucker. Yeah. Be even more impressed. What is this all about? I got you something. Oh, a little beer, a little uh, bottle. Of a little beer. something, for, you, little bro. something for the little something for the for the studio here. Yeah, in case, you know, thank get, you. Drinking thank some you. beers. Aloha and, from Hawaii. Yeah. All right. We don't do enough drinking on this, but you know what? We're not really a drinking podcast. No, I can. I'd have to drive too fucking far. Or can you? <laughs> when we get to the point to where we have other people here and I can get like a ride home. Uh, Uber. We'll drink, yeah. Fuck that. That's a grip. What are you, like 16 bucks? Shit. I like 30. To my house? Type okay. it in. Type it in and see. <laughs> we use Lyft in uh, <laughs> Anaheim. <laughs> Had to get the Lyft XL. <laughs> It was in battle. I had to pay like nine bucks each way. Yeah, bitch. Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> I love this face ID shit. I don't got to do too much anymore. It just knows. You're doing too much. <laughs> it just knows. It's all, huh? Oh, okay. That's yeah. what you, you want to yeah. do? That's what you want to do? Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Motherfucker. <laughs> How you gonna tell me the password I entered is incorrect, bitch? Run it. Slurping over there. Slurper. She's slurping on. Buddy. Okay. Shit. If I gotta share a ride, motherfuckers, or Uber X shit, that shit's $22. Uber XL, $36.86. All right, but you don't need an XL. Yeah, that's what she said. Oh. <laughs> no, I was wrong. <laughs> I read this thing about micro penises on Snapchat. You what? You're reading about micro penises. It's one of those stories, you know, you just come up with one like, 
You just couldn't help but click. <laughs> it was clickbait. You couldn't help but click on the little pee I was pee-pee. like laughing, laughing at these <laughs> You're motherfuckers. Like, Ugh, you know? So the definition is Vienna. <laughs> Fully erect, two inches. It's a micro penis. It's pretty sad. <laughs> oh my god, I would off myself. Wow. Only just shave up for a fucking penal enlargement or something. So off. I heard it only gets like a kickstand. Like it'll get off long, it'll get skinny. What do you mean? If you had like a penile surgery. I don't know about that. Like a Laffy Taffy. And just stretch arm strong. <laughs> <laughs> arm strong. He's like, it's a fucking key twisted at the end and call it a kickstand. It's like a fucking Twizzler. It's fucking pathetic, man. <laughs> Bill Paxton. It's fucking pathetic, man. No, I was doing the... I was doing the cop. You wouldn't offer dude, yourself if you had a micro penis? No, dude's big and all. No, nah, fuck no. I would. No way. You better eat a mean pussy, kid. <laughs> I'm just fucking... Uh, <laughs> Get that enlargement right there. Buy some strap-ons and shit. Just fucking strap-ons. Go what the on. Fuck? fuck it. Some kind of no. Turn around. <laughs> Yo, meal. Mm. <laughs> donkey balls. Tonight on the Hood Downer podcast. A side of donkey balls. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit of donkey balls. What if that was like chocolate's real name was donkey balls? Chocolate's real name. Like. Instead of being chocolate, it was donkey balls. <laughs> It'd be, there'd be no, that, that would that would have been changed years ago. You don't think that would have caught on? I don't think so. I don't think it would have made it. Milk, chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> donkey balls. Yeah. What? It, I can't remember what the other ones were. You said salty balls as well. Yeah, it was just different chocolate. It was chocolate covered with like with like sea salt. They were called sweet ass gummies. Sweet ass gummies. That's what we had that one time. Those were from New York. So we like York. So that's dope. If you think about it, we've had g- gummy bears from New York, and we've had gummies from fucking Hawaii now on this show. This should be the type of thing where it's like, "Where are you from in the world? I don't care. Send me gummies from there." <laughs> I just don't want to get poisoned. We got a lot of these dudes from this uh, not safe for work podcast uh, movement shit. That that there a lot of their shows are in Florida. A lot of these dudes. Oh, where a lot of them from Florida? A couple from the East Coast, yeah. From what I've heard, you gonna have to send me the links to. Some I think that I think the the these drunk bitches are from like or three. <laughs> These drunk bitches, the again. three drunk bitches, these drunk bitches. I think they're from like North Carolina. I think something like that or somewhere over there. I don't know. Don't North Cackalac. No, somewhere out there. I'm fucking. I've home. never been to North Carolina. Me neither. North Carolina, come on and raise up. Take your shirt off. I'm going to go to a Tar Heel game or a Duke game. Is that where Duke is at? North yeah. Carolina? I have no idea. I always thought Duke was like somewhere up in like Washington area or something like that. Suck it. Slurp. Slurp on the slurm. That shit's giving me a brain freeze right now. That shit's been gone. Did you finish it? Oh yeah. You don't. You don't fucking stop. You don't put. You put in work, bro. I have the munchies like a motherfucker. Challenge. I'm, I'm almost gonna call like uh, Uber Eats or something right now. Are you really? No. Just do it. Do, do it. Just get a fucking. Do it. Do it. Now my just, dad cooked meat earlier. Just get a fucking dom- uh, Domino's. At the crib. They got those hot spots now. You seen that shit? You can be at like a park and you can order a Domino's like directly to that park right there and shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. Domino's changing the game and shit. I'm all for innovation. Mm-hmm. So how was Disneyland? Was Disneyland fun? I don't know if I'll go again during the Halloween season just because of the sheer amount of people there. And what day did you go on? It was like Saturday. A, oh, well, that's why too. You got to go like during the week, man. You got to go like on a Thursday or some shit like that. Even Friday. Only difference is, is sometimes they close early. You have to look at the day at the times. Like Monday through like Wednesday, I think they close at like nine o'clock. But like on the weekends, they stay open till like ten or something like that. I mean, that's why my deal didn't want to go on Friday because they do close at like nine. But he said that specifically. All right, you going on Saturday, homie? I mean, you pay the price. <sighs> You just got to do the whole fast pass shit. Were you doing that shit? What was the shit that you were holding? Bro. It wasn't like that. That's when it lets, um, you know, all that is, is it just lets the people know that like a certain amount of people are in line. 
So, it's like some little secret code that they have. If you carry that thing to the next person up there, it lets them know, like, oh, shit, okay, they sent me this card. That means there's a fuckload of people waiting on this ride. We got to kind of move shit. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of what that what that is. All I know is that the wait times were insane. Um, the fast passes sold out. I've never heard of that happening before. Um, yeah, you can only, because it can only do so many. Now you can only so do many. so many for, like, you can only do one every two hours now. I've been like that. I guess it's been that long since it's been like that for me. Yeah. Um, like it was just so many people, dude. Luckily, the weather was beautiful. It was, I mean, it was sprinkling a little bit, but it wasn't bad. I love it when it rains at fucking Disneyland. It's crazy. <clears throat> but they're building a new parking structure for like sixty five hundred more cars. Dope. They said it's got so packed there that they started parking at the Angel Stadium. The really? workers and they bust them in. Damn. It's crazy. Yeah. What was your favorite ride of there that you went on that day? Um, Did you do Star Tours? No, I didn't. I no. went on the... Uh, what about Space Mountain? Space Mountain I went on. Is it still called uh, Space Mountain or is it something else now? It was like a Halloween one. Oh, okay. They do. They've been changing it up. Well, it was um, Star Wars for a while. It was like something. It was called like the... What is that? That shit called when they, they fly fast. <laughs> Yeah, that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hyperdrive, hyperspace mountain is what it was called for a while. For you know, looking at the wall, I'm about to take uh, take a little moment to shout out my Phoenix Suns. They won today. Yeah, they did. DeAndre Ayton bald. <clears throat> Next wildcat. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. He, he won some, <laughs> and then lost some. He looked like a beast today. Did he? Yeah. Don't. Well, yeah, but just, you know, it's cool, dude. It's for the kids, you know? Yeah. I got to go down to Fairfax, and I went to Supreme. Did you drop some cash over there? Uh, not a lot. What'd I thought I was going to spend a lot more than I did. What did you buy? Uh, I bought a T-shirt, um, a marker that had a Supreme logo on it. Nice. Um, And then some boxers. Yeah? They say Supreme on the band. Nice. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm still on the fence if I'm going to wear them. <laughs> what do you mean if you're going to wear them? You're not going to well, wear them. Um, worst case scenario, I'll just take them to Zillionaire, you know, JR's store. Mm-hmm. Sit the kid. Yeah. They have a resale store called Zillionaire in the Tucson Mall. Okay. They specialize in Bape and Supreme and Yeezys and all the hard to find. So you wear them and then take them in? No, no, dead stock. <laughs> I leave them dead stock. Dead I have the bag. I have the dead receipt. Stock. Yeah, I have everything. Gotcha. Wear them once, bro. So your bag is fucking immortalized in there. <laughs> All my junk. I don't think he would take it open. Just take it. Don't even tell him. <laughs> You're going to have to rip the package open somehow. Oh, okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Package in my bag. I don't know if it was like one of those packages you could take it around and put it back together. And no, shit. you got to rip that bag. Have you had to do that a lot? I've had to do that a lot in my life. You know what I did that one time, bro? I got a brand new iPod one day. Like when they when they came out, when they were like... Two ninety nine for like a fucking 16 gig you know what i'm saying back in the day when they first dropped that shiny black colorway one time you know what i'm saying it was like all glass in the front yeah 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 bro i remember it was literally the first fucking day i bought it and i took it to the house and i had a f- I, had, I put music on it everything i was chilling jamming listening to it and i saw the front and i fucking like took my shirt and fucking tried to clean the fucking the the fingerprints off, and I scratched the living fuck out of it, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, I, like, no. I had no, no. I, I had no idea my fucking shirt was sandpaper, and it fucking just <laughs> left some serious fucking streak marks on this fucking. On a scale iPod. one to ten, how pissed were you, dude? I was off the fucking hinges, bro. <laughs> like, I literally I put everything the fuck back on it. I took everything off of it. I put that wrap ping back in the front. I put it back together. It looked exactly like I fucking just bought it. And I told them, hey, man, I can't get this to work. Can I get a different one? You know what I'm saying? It was literally the day after I bought it. What were they going to say? I'm like, yeah, cool. It looks fucking legit. Like, you just bought it. You know, all I did was like, I told them, I was like, I didn't really take it all apart. I just fucking like pulled it off. I tried to plug it in. It wouldn't fucking turn on, man. And I'm worried about this. Can I get another one? They're like, yeah, go ahead, bro. Switch it out. I was like, fuck doing that shit ever again. I started buying them like 
digital wipes and shit like that to clean glasses and lenses and shit like that, dude. Oh my god. Oh, that's the worst. I put fucking scratch marks all over a one day old fucking three hundred dollar iPod and I was furious. It's like fuck that shit. So yeah, I took that shit back. Isn't a trip like I remember having the discman. Oh yeah. I, you remember, know? I remember having a Walkman, bro. See I didn't have a Walkman though. I did. I had a bunch. Like I got right in the game when it was like CDs. You know what I'm saying? That's when I really started fucking with like music, like 95, 96 was like CDs. But you spend like $25 on a CD. Man, and I had Remember so that? I had so much to say to Quick. Oh, I had you? so much. I told him I told him that like I was like, "Dude, we were just talking about you the other day." I was like, I was telling my homies about how your CD was the very first CD that I bought when they came in them big ass fucking plastic things with like there was like all this extra room, like it was just a cardboard thing, you know what I'm saying? But they made them look all tall and shit like yeah, that. Like yeah, for yeah, what yeah. fucking reason was that? Yeah. What whose marketing fucking idea was that? That plastic holder? Yeah. No, it wasn't the plastic holder before. It was literally like a solid plastic piece of paper. Like, okay. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about like the the Circuit City days where it was like a white piece of plastic on the fucking I think those were CD. security cases. They were. Those were. But back in the day when CDs first came out, they came in this like tall, like whatever, like, okay, the quick is the name. It was brown, right? The fucking the thing picture like it was just a cardboard box that the CD fucking fit into. But it was that tall. And like you bought it, you took that home and you took that fucking took the CD out of that cardboard. And you had this cardboard that had the DJ quick cover on it and shit like that. But the CD and itself was inside of it. You know what I'm saying? So that it was packaging weird. changed It really was weird. Fast. Yeah, really fast. Cause it was like a fucking waste of fucking paper for no reason. And then they kept the pla- They kept the tallness of that plastic shit, which really made no fucking sense. Eventually they got rid of that too. You know, they started putting like the do not steal shit within the CD itself or like within the packaging somehow or something. But yeah, I was telling him that. I was like, dude, man, they came in the piece of plastic and shit. And he was like, yeah, man, I remember that shit. Blah, blah. And I was just like, I wanted to fucking tell him like how much I appreciated the fucking beat that he made for Tupac called The Late Night. And I was, it, was, it was just, it's probably like my favorite fucking Tupac song ever. And it's like when we started rapping and we started doing our own little label, we called it Late Night Music for that fucking reason, bro, because I love yeah. that fucking song. And yeah. I just love that name, like Late Night, you know what I'm saying? Like. Like, that's my lifestyle. Been fucking late at night is when I do my work. You know, I'm always out late, blah, 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 late night, bro. That's what it was. We were the creatures of the night, you know what I mean? For sure. And so, yeah, man, I, I, I fucking so, I was so mad I didn't get to tell him that, like, how much I appreciated that you shit. You always man. get, you, you, you figure you're going to get starstruck because that's not, like, just one of your. I was super starstruck. That's, like, you're one of your OGs that you looked up to. I was just like, dude, like, 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 fuck, we were, just, we were just, me and Bert were just talking about you, dog, like, the other day, like, what the fuck? And I, I seen him coming up, and I didn't, I couldn't recognize him right away because he looked like. Is he, he a tall ju- dude? He looked like he had just woke up. Yeah, he tall, skinny and shit like that. And then, like, he had this swole-ass motherfucker with him, bodyguard and shit like that. And Carrying a pillow and a fucking bag and shit, and I looked at that dude. I'm like, is that fucking quick like that? And he just looks at me so like that, and I'm like, yo, quick, dog, can I get a picture with you, bro, man? I'm like, I just gotta tell you, man, like you that motherfucker, bro, like you the fucking shit, dude, like my first CD, bro, when it came in the bag. I just fucking, I went into total fucking bitch mode, man. I was just like, I was a fan, bro. I became a fan so fast right there, but it was cool. I think I smashed a rhythmalism one time. Yeah, that's a good CD. <laughs> I just master your music, my, my, dog. My shit is. I, I should have told him that too. I should have been like, "What if he would have been like, I fucking hate." If I was like, "Dude, I still think Safe and Sound your favorite shit," and he was like, "I fucking hate Safe and Sound." <laughs> <laughs> That's my least favorite. That's album. A, well, thanks a lot. I don't He's like, like this, this, and that happened to me. That I don't year. like that album. Thanks for reminding me about that shit. He goes, now I'm not even gonna perform in two songs. Compton, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. You got this goon just but stomping was, you out. But it was cool. That was a cool way because, like, you know. After having to come back from Hawaii, bro, like all of us were just like, oh my God, this sucks. You know what I'm saying? Did that and flight home suck? It wasn't that bad. It just sucked because I had an event that day. Like coming back into Tucson, I had an event, you know what I mean? And I was like, I wasn't looking forward to it. We just got back from Hawaii and I was like, I saw it quick. I was like, fuck that stuff, man. Blah, so blah. was the shop, was the, the, hall, the hall ready? Yeah, they took Prior care. to you leaving? They took care of it. They took care of it. Like I, I left them all the instructions and everything like that and they, they set it up. <laughs> Only thing they didn't do is they forgot to turn the fucking air on. <laughs> oh, so when it started, it was hot? It was hot as fuck. And the, he called me and he was like, oh, bro, they're saying there's something wrong with the air. I'm like, there's not something wrong with it, bro. You just didn't turn it on. That's it. <laughs> How long did it take to get cool? Oh, not that long, though. 
It oh, wasn't that okay. bad. It was a cool day, bro. It, it's been cool in Tucson like, the past couple of weeks, bro. Yeah. It's been nice, dude. Like, it's nicer over here right now than it was over there, dude. It was hot so as I, fuck I went over there. to the White Mountains. How was that? It was good. It was fun? It was, yeah. Hell Did yeah. you get some shrooms and shit? Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I, uh, I definitely had a awakening moment up there. Uh, <laughs> came back stress free. Yeah, Reset. anxiety free, bro. Reset, De- depression free. Um, like honestly, I've been on a really good, um, like three weeks. Nice. Like I've been enjoying life, and and then Disneyland's always a reboot too. I, I had a friend come into the shop the other day on Tuesday <laughs> to drop off some hats for a softball team, mm-hmm. and I hadn't seen her in forever. And uh, I went to school with her. Mm. She got married. She has kids, and like mm. she has two kids, and I was crazy seeing them running around. Mm. Um, but she's like, "You look pretty good." Like she, I'm like, "Well, thank you." You know, like, what do you say to that? Thanks for not telling me I look like Yo, shit. What? Thanks for telling me I didn't let it go. No, no, not even in that sense. <laughs> but like, not like Frank the Tank. Like fucking. But yes! what's the alternative? Yes. What's the alternative to that? Oh damn, dude, you really let yourself go. You look like shit. I'm oh, sure. You know, like I mean, so that was my thing. I was like, I'm glad it wasn't that, but um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> you just like you've been feeling good. Though. Yeah, just been you've feeling been good, feeling, bro. Going to the gym and shit. Yeah, show? Um, no, not really. I haven't, man. Um, I definitely see the areas I still need to continue to work on, but um, work has just been so crazy to the point where. It's not really a a thing that's important right now, you yeah. know. But at the same, I haven't time, gone since I've come back either. I don't want to kind of like. Ugh. I don't want to just let it go completely, you know. Oh no, yeah. One thing is, I'm gonna start biking a lot more because of the fact of the weather. Yeah, I'll be able to wake up at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning and just go on a five ten mile ride real quick. I'm looking forward to taking Obi out for walks like during the day now, and not have to worry about the sun and shit too too much. You know what I'm saying? Well, it'll burn his paws too, right? The the, <clears throat> the floor. Huh? Like the pavement will burn his fucking yeah, paws, yeah, right? Yeah. He got he got sick, bro. Like when we were gone, he missed us, dude. Like I felt bad, dude. Like we came back and they told us that he was kind of like he he did good, but he was also kind of sad and shit. And then like a couple of days after we had even got home, even then, like he seemed still like stressed out and shit. There was like there was like blood in his poop and shit. You know what, what I'm saying? So we, so we took him to the vet, and they said it was just kind of like stress induced. You know what I'm saying? Like. He'd been kind of stressed out. Like the day before, dude, like I had, I I took him with me to the event center, which was kind of a mistake because the people brought in, they came in and they came with their kids and shit like that, dude. And he just like, he's kind of a little dick, bro. He just barks at people sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So he was barking, barking. So I had to put him in the little, like the bride's room in the back and shit, you know what I mean? And he was in there for like a good half hour. So I think that kind of stressed him out. He thought like we were leaving him again. Like, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? Dogs are fucking fucking finicky bro it's yeah. crazy i've learned that like with this he's about to be a year like coming up like in a couple like a couple days actually. crazy how time flies off yeah dude i'm like a tri- trip it's a trip dude he's a smart little puppy but like he got sick dude so we took him and we got him checked out and uh yeah it's crazy man so we're gonna like i said like the next trip that we take is probably gonna be like a san diego trip like that we're gonna take him with us we're gonna find like an airbnb or like a hotel that's cool with pets and shit and Take him over there. Go pick up my Phil's fucking barbecue that you didn't get for me from over there. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that I was going to have to go to San Diego this weekend and drop off uh, jerseys if we didn't get this driver to hook us up at UPS. And? Um, you don't have to go now? N- now I don't have to go. Nice. No, And not nice. I would have loved to have gone. Yeah, sure. Think about it. I've gone on two vacations with the family. This one would have been like a two-day trip or a one-day trip. But I would have been like dolo or with a homie or something, yeah. you know? I want to start doing more of those, man. Like shit that's like drivable, like within a day. Because you could drive like a good like eight hours and, you know, have a good day or somewhere and then drive the fuck back. I think um, the I first like- weekend in November, I might take a drive out to El Paso. Yeah? Yeah, just because I have a cousin that lives out there. Uh-huh. He's a, a professor at uh, UTEP. And UTEP. Um, so just go out there and see what... Uh, El Paso, Texas has to offer. Go get some of those Chico's tacos. No, see what's popping. I mean, you ever been there? Never. I've I've only driven through there, and it's a bittersweet. Um, like you drive through this the the, the well, I I took the Amtrak through there too, uh-huh. and the and the the train tracks, um, go along the border. Uh-huh. 
So you'll see El Paso on one side, and, and then you see Juarez, Juarez like the shacks and the fucking how sad it is. It's, right there. it's like third world poor and like U.S. Like and it's like right there, like right there, dude. Like literally, there's a line that fucking draws between the difference, and that's what's super sad because you just see how these kids, they could be your fucking cousin. Honestly, it could be your fucking cousin, and they're living in that fucking dire straits. That's what's sad, bro. One time, me and the homie, we went in, we went up there to do a like a barber battle, right? And I yeah. took like all the clothes and stuff, and I had a room. I don't know what, like a fucking Holiday Inn or whatever the fuck it was, but the room that we got was facing fucking Juarez right there. I didn't really realize it until the morning because, like, I was up, like, fucking all night and shit. And then I wanted to wake up and do, like, a little time lapse. I had this, like, got this new camera and shit, and I wanted to try it out. So I got up, set the fucking time lapse, woke up, it was done, checked it out and shit. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, fuck, that's fucking crazy. Like, the time lapse scene, like, I was, like, just lights, 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 and all of a sudden you see it's Juarez and shit, and you're just like, oh, man, that's fucking, that's fucking, that looks bad over there, bro. Like, goddamn. Bro, like, it's not even like it was right disrespecting there, sure. them and saying it's an eyesore. Nah, but it's I mean, literally it's, I mean, it like is, a though. fucking shanty town. No like, running it's water. Like right you there shit too, in the streets. You, know yeah. you piss in the street. Like, dude, it's like famine, fucking cholera, all that shit. Like, fucking. It's pretty bad. Yeah. It's pretty bad. So it's tuberculosis. Not, it's no wonder, all it's no wonder shit, people dude. want to come over here. Yeah, you know I mean, saying, I. So. I'm shout all, out! Shout out to the raza that. Okay, picked shout up out to the that people shit, that made you know it. Saying, you know, like, yeah, dude, it's fucked up. Because there's people that don't make it. They die in the desert, or they I get trip. caught by migra. Yeah, and they fucking take them back. I trip out like the differences, bro. Like I had a homie that was living over here, and um, he was illegal. He was a friend of the families and shit. And then shit got caught up at at his job, where like. He, he noticed, like, there was something going on at his job and shit, dude. And, like, I guess one of his homies tipped him off that fucking, like, the, the border patrol was there. And they were checking on people's shit. And they had busted, like, fucking, like, eight, nine people working at this company. And he worked there. So he didn't go in. And literally, he was like, fuck it, bro. He went back. He went back to Nogales and shit. Homie told me he went from making, like, $500 a week to, like, $50 a week. It's sick. It's fucking sad. It bro. is sick it's what like, they pay these damn, fucking dude. workers over there. I think, crazy. you know how, like, they have the Ford plants and all that shit? I think they get like twenty five dollars a week. That's ugh, ugh. yeah. That's sad, man. Yeah, that's fucking sad shit. Fuck yeah, it is. But um, a little lighter note. What's your jam of the week, dude? Yeah, I was about to get into that shit right there. Let me get over here. See what I was. Uh, my jam of the week is a song by what is his name? Anderson Pack, I think. Yes, sir, Mr. Anderson Pack, and it's called Tints, featuring Kendrick Lamar. Tints, not tits, tints, like fucking limo tint on your windshield. Yeah, I heard that song. It's pretty good. Yeah, that one was that. Is it the album that's produced by Dr. Dre? Uh, you know, I really don't know. I really don't know. Because I know that's one of the projects that he's coming out with. Pretty but. sure. Well, hopefully it is, man. That's dope. Yeah, I, I like the song. And then my old school was a song called Mo Love by DFC. DFC. A lot of people don't really know about DFC. DFC old school, man. DFC got a song that had Nate Dogg on the hook. And this is before Nate Dogg was with Death Row. But uh, it's an old school. DFC used to rap with MC Breed. If you know who MC Breed is, you know who MC, MC Breed, Breed is. Okay, I think they're from. I think they're from. Out. I think they're from Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan. Yeah, I don't know how fucking Nate Dogg got hooked up with them, but uh, I know uh, the, the the song with DFC that I have called Mo, that song called Mo Love. It's got Half Ounce and uh, MC8 from Compton's Most Wanted, and then it had uh, that one right there. In the house, MC8 DJ Slim. Yeah, that song right there, but. Uh, well, that song's Mo Love, but there's another song on that particular album that's got Nate Dogg on it. It's called Things in the Hood. You ever heard that song? Things in my hood ain't no. changed. No, I haven't heard that one. That shit is dope, dude. You got to hear that. I'll send you the link to that shit. But, uh, yeah, so that's my old school. What was your uh, what was your new gem? So my new gem of the week is Bad Bunny, who got another uh, Bad Bunny entrance with uh, featuring Drake. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard a lot of people all fucking mad about Drake busting in Spanish. How do you yeah, feel about I mean, that? Yeah, I mean, he articulated pretty well. Yeah? Like, I don't want a crossover album from him at all. Don't just do one that's one song, maybe another song in the future. You know, get your one reggaeton in. He had one dance. It had, like, that world beat to it. Yeah. But um, this one's good. I liked, I liked it. 
Um, so, it's so, a banger. So, so even if he, you know, went out of his way to learn the Spanish language, I wanted to do I would want to. You wouldn't want to hear. No, no, like, no, no, fuck no, that. no. Even if he's because is, is it the fact that he could probably speak Spanish better than you? No, if, if, <laughs> dude. If I fucking actually put the fucking time and effort to learn how to speak it properly, because you understand Spanish, earning, right? Learning the learning the, ver, uh, the, the uh, English to Spanish translation is easy. You you memorize the the way it's spelled, the way it's said. Dude, and then, Spanish is definitely not easy. Yeah, it is, dude. It's, it's maybe if you if you grow, grew up learning this shit, but like try to teach a white person Spanish, bro. The 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 shit, the variables, ellos, ellas, el, ella, all them shits like that confuse the fuck out of people. No, for bro. sure. You know what I'm My saying? My thing is, is it's hard for me to put down because you had to conjugate all the verbs. You know what I'm saying? So conjugate the verb, bitch. <laughs> like that's the biggest heart. It's it's the biggest obstacle for me is. Um, Trying to fucking reprogram what I'm trying to say in the format of Spanish. It's like crazy. I'm hearing it, okay, but you can't you, can, you can't you can't talk that me that me that too fast though. I'm thankful that I fucking know. Can't talk it too I know, fast. I know good ass Spanish because bro. you talk it too fast. I'm like, uh, no hablo. That's how fast <laughs> I go. <laughs> you know I go saying? I go quickly to understanding what you're saying to no hablo. So no hablo. Okay. <laughs> That's all you got to do. Que? That's all. Que? Yeah. No. I say well, the rudest uh, gay in the no, world. It was, it, was a good, it was a good song. <laughs> Um, is it gonna go platinum? Hell yes, it's gonna go platinum. Fuck yeah, it is. It got Drake, it's fucking Drake, who is the pop king, and Bad Bunny, who's the reggaeton king. And right Bad now. Bunny, the reggaeton. What Bad is it? Bunny, Re- bang, bang. Reggaeton trap. Trap. Yeah, it's like Latin trap. Latin trap. And then my uh, my throwback is uh, Devin the Dude boo booing. Boo booing. Catch me in the bath. And then, uh, what's funny enough that that uh, CD cover is one of him taking a shit. Yeah, it's classic. Um, that was getting high. You know, he's a he's a stoner rap guy, and he was on the four twenty mixes. I gotta get um, I gotta update a, a four twenty mix that I used to do. Like Burke sent me his, I gotta send him mine. I gotta show you a CD that I have of Devin the Dude that's not available on Apple Music. Okay, and uh, it's got this song called. There's a song called. It's literally called Pussy. Pussy. Have you ever had one? Have you heard that one? Have you ever had one? Yeah. <laughs> have, you, have you ever heard that song? <laughs> I've seen a couple He's like, of what does he say? He's like, I like the thick ones, the tall ones, the red. No, I can't even remember how the fuck. I'll butcher the fuck out of it. But anyways, there's like four dope ass tracks on this album. And like, you can't find it like online. I don't know where I got it. But it's, it's got this song called Pussy. It's got this other song called Choosy. It's all Choosy. You know you want dick tonight. <laughs> you can't refuse me. You know you want dick tonight. <laughs> Don't you miss that love it, feel it. Don't you miss the way we ride. Dude, he fucking goes off, dude. It's so you cannot refuse He's from Houston, me. right? Let's just make this movie. Yeah, I think he's from fucking. They got a lot of good rappers out of Houston. Fucking yeah. I appreciate the screwed and chopped. Definitely. You like that screwed and chopped shit? I fuck with it, bro. I love all that shit, man. But I used to drink some lean. Like, when you could get codeine permethazine. Yeah. I never really drank activists. This album is called Weed, Wine, and Women. Okay. And like, there's this, song, <laughs> there's this song called The Best Way. And it's all the best way to get these hoes. Nice cars, fat rims, and Vogues. Like that. He tells this story about like he meets this chick in a fucking car or in, the, in a club. And he's like, somehow we touched on the sub, or we touched on the subject of smoking weed. And I said, I also smoke. She told me, follow me. So we walked outside to the 79. She was moving kind of slow, 20 paces behind. I got to the car. She said, it's you with the hubcaps. And I said, yeah, why? Bitch said, fuck that. I was like, God damn, dude. He went off on that shit. You know, I think he's, with copyright laws, you would have been easier playing the actual verse than singing it. Like no, that. fuck that. I you sang that? that shit. Because that's like. Performing, and that's where we're gonna get flagged, and you're gonna get us kicked off a of fucking apple, Pussy. man. And then choosy, you're gonna get kicked Just off a fucking to the, apple. Listen to the hook right here. Pussy's gonna get us kicked off a of apple. I I have some producer hip hop friends on Facebook, right? Uh-huh. And um, one of them one of them posted, like, you're an independent artist. You should have your tracks without vocals. Yeah, I agree with that completely. Well, you mean like when you perform a show? Yeah. Yeah, I think you should only have your hook on there and then like ad libs if you want, just to add more depth to your fucking performances. And shit. Right. That's how right. I used if to you, do it. If you don't have a backup dude. Yeah. If you don't have no. a backup yeah. dude that's in support, like doing the ad libs, and yes, you should have some ad libs on the track. But as far as you rapping over your lyrics, 
That yeah. kind of defeats the purpose. Like immediately, I don't want. You know, to. you want to know when rappers wind up doing that shit, and I've seen it, and I can always tell why. They're it's washed. because they wind up getting fucking faded before the show, and they're like, "Fuck, bro, I'm not gonna remember all my shit. Put the background vocal on." Like I've seen that shit. I've seen like, my because I remember I can't remember who it was. I want to say it was like at Vaudeville or some shit like that downtown, and I remember seeing them do like a sound check with no fucking things on it. And then I remember seeing homies like getting fucking a little tanked and shit. And by the time they got up there, I seen him fucking tell the dude like, oh, I'm fucking running back with the fucking vocal, blah, blah, blah. So can be getting faded like that, I, I, I share the same sentiment because when I go see a rap artist at like a festival or whatever, I really don't want to fucking hear him rap over his vocals. It's like, dude, I spent enough money for you to fucking sing the fucking song. Yeah. Right. You're gonna only going to do 45 seconds of it and then fucking do a... Uh, drop the clue bomb and you get to, and it goes into the next song you know right you do your verse and that's it but um did, did you by any chance listen to the Carter 5 I hated it yeah I didn't really I like hated that much it. too yeah it's just a dated sound it's a dated sound it's, it's just different market like um it's like you're here Theo went to jail and he came out and he was fucking wearing the shit that was popping when he was in high school still. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, it's just like the times are different. Like you think that like those songs were done like a while ago and then he just finally released them oh, and, yeah. shit and they just done. They're not relevant Wayne's anymore. Been done with that album since like, well, prior to the fucking settlement and him going to court because his, la- so his last album, the Carter four came out in 2011. Think about it. Seven yeah. years. Yeah. That Seven makes years. Sense. That makes sense. That <clears throat> sucks, just, man. It's just. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't really hear anything I really liked. There was yeah. a few songs where I was kind of vibing, but everything else, I was like, uh, 13, 14 seconds in, change. I'm gonna give it another listen. I probably but, will too. I tried to listen to. Uh, I tried to listen to Daz Dillinger's new new album. How was it? <sighs> it's thirty tracks. That's too much. I saved like two of them. I say tool. I might use one of them as my uh, jam of the week for next week because <laughs> it's fairly new. But, you know, the thing was, bro, like ever since um, ever since Bird had told me about that, uh, that G Funk documentary that he had watched, which he fucking watched like for like for some for some reason, I think he got lucky that YouTube put it on for free for uh, a day or two or something like that, because you have to have YouTube. uh Red or whatever the fuck it's called, like oh, when you to subscribe watch it? to watch it, yeah. So I was like, "Well, how the fuck did you watch it?" I was like, "You got that shit?" And he's like, "Nah, I don't got that." I'm like, "Damn, they must have like put it out like for free a couple of days or some shit like that." But I'd been wanting to watch that, so I've been watching a bunch of that dude DJ Vlad's fucking shit still, like all about like the death row days. I've been watching ever since I seen Q, uh, uh, Quick that day. I watched a documentary on him and bunch of other ones like talking about like the death row beef days and dealing with suge and all this other shit and then a bunch of other ones like dudes from like above the law and right. fucking mc8 and like that dude fucking vlad is like interviewed fucking everybody bro from the 90s dude oh my god he he interviewed michelle you know who michelle is yeah the fucking singer that has a baby with dr dre and with suge yeah have you ever heard her voice isn't it like super high pitched? Super squeaky as didn't fuck. Didn't they do the Netflix movie with her? I don't know about that, but then, you, but then you listen to her song, like the way she sings. She sounds like all super soulful diva. You say you love me. And then when she stops singing, I'm a me. Like, what the fuck? Like, her voice is so fucking crazy, like the way it is regularly. And she sings like a fucking, like a fucking total fucking, like, like she was in in Vogue, you know what I'm saying? Like it was crazy. Yeah, it's a trip, dude. But yeah, she has a baby by fucking Suge and by fucking Dre. Ain't that some shit? We're at a one thirty five, <laughs> huh? One thirty five. Yeah, we can we can call it right now in a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they did a movie. I mean, if it was a Lifetime movie or what, man? About Michelet? Yeah. Or the Death Row days and shit yeah. like that. Yeah. Dr. Dre used to she beat her beat ass, I guess. Fuck out of her. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> that ended up, probably that voice probably annoyed the fuck out of him. <laughs> Are you fuck condoning you, fuck fucking you, Dre, <laughs> domestic fuck violence right now? No. Don't fucking try to throw me under the bus like that shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I wish I had a beer to crack this fucking thing in right now and break it in. That's real Hawaiian wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> real. <laughs> that's Hawaiian real Hawaiian wood. wood made in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's that's from Hawaii. Made in Japan. I made sure it was fucking Hawaiian shit. Made in Japan. But um, but yeah, man, we got uh, 
we got a lot of cool shit getting ready to go into season two right here. Cooking you know up some shit. I don't think we ever really fucking we didn't even announce our names or nothing like that. No, but you know what? If you are tuned into season two, you pretty much know that I'm DJ Century. And I am the homie casual, and you're listening to the Hood Diner Podcast, bitch. Well, we're back and we're better than ever. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> yeah, man. And uh gotta give a shout out to the sponsor, official Chloe, and they're still rocking with us. They still they still haven't let us go yet. You wanna know why? Because I say so. You're all this motherfucker out here. The permanent sponsor. Hey, no, nah, no. Nah. We're going to get some real sponsors here soon. We're going to get some real sponsors. I'm, I got my eye on TDs over here. Hopefully hopefully Mark's listening to me and he's, he, you know, he wants to take a chance on some sponsorships right here. We'll plug the fuck out of there. Fucking shit. Nightly, weekly. We'll be like, hey, you got We'd Friday, get like a Friday night a special. Go up in there. You get two for one drinks on Hennessy's and fucking, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you go see this and this and that. Yeah, if we can get like. Like a hood wine, hood diner password. Like you, you show up at the door. You say hood diner, no cover. Yeah, no cover. And, and like, then the and first, like, the first drinks two for one. There you go. We we'll do that shit. We we'll plug the fuck out. Of them you know what I'm saying? Shit. I think they we'll charge plug, like ten dollars we'll, a beer we'll, anyway. We we'll plug so. them in the beginning of the fucking thing. We we'll plug them at the end and shit. You know what I'm saying? Also, we got to give a shout out to our not safe for well, not safe for work podcast uh, affiliate click network. I always I want to say movement because it's like a movement, but it's a network. It's a network of homies and shit. Like so that, you, know you got pissed off at me for not doing Twitter. I've jumped on the Twitter a little bit and I've seen some follows from, from some people that are associated with the network and all I that know, stuff. I know, man. Too, the so. motherfuckers is for real, dog. They, yeah. They, so. so that's why if you don't follow them back, they're going to be like, all right, them hood down the motherfucker. Little baby Joker thinks he's a shit over there. You know what Who's I'm saying? Who's baby Joker? Because I don't even sound like that. <sighs> you know, if I had to say you're baby Joker, I'm Joker. I'm just First saying, of all, just saying. I'm like, little baby. Wah, wah, wah. He, he's talking. He said, he's like, well, you know what the dudes, the baby Joker and Joker. He's like, these motherfuckers Mexican as fuck over there and shit. And he's like, Sel- anything for Selena's. <laughs> That's what he said. I, I like, mean, he ain't too far off, bro. I don't think we even have accents. <laughs> nah, we do. Or you know me? I guess maybe me because I be I be going into Spanglish every now and then. So I was scared. Not me, know. bro. Me, I, yeah. I'm 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 total Spanglish. I keep it. I keep it all the way 50-50. I have to keep my linguistics like E-40. Yeah. Hipper than a hippopotamus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time and time. But yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, man. Stay tuned. Uh, season two is going to be dope. We're going to be bringing in a lot more guests. Uh, we're going to get to, we're finally going to get to this, uh, you know, we got, we got my homeboy, the chef, that's going to come in and cook us some weed shit. And hopefully that'll be coming up here real soon. But, uh, but yeah, man, welcome back. Season two is officially on its way, man. Episode 19. And uh, yeah, we out of here. Peace. Peace. Peace.